Hello and welcome to another episode of World War II History and Reenacting. I'm Unto Shafir Hasluid with the Norwegian Reenacting Group von Champona. Vincent's equipment is a small, highly regarded business, making the finest handmade reproduction leather equipment used by the German army during World War II. Vincent started sewing equipment at his school in 2010, when he was studying to become a gunsmith. His skill and passion grew from a hobby to a renowned business, and in early 2016, Vincent's equipment was officially released. In just one year, he achieved exemplary feedback from his customers, and has rightfully been referred to as one of the best vendors on the market when it comes to quality leather and pressed off field gear. His vision is to make high quality reproductions, using original tools, techniques and the correct material. All the leather is dyed in the shop, the thread used is correct and the hardware is mostly original or reproductions made by Vincent himself. Quality and customer service comes first at Vincent's equipment. This is a reproduction of the German standard issue service belt of World War II, often referred to as an enlistment's belt. This is a faithful reproduction matching the original in every way. Just like the original, it is made from 4.5 mm thick and 4.5 cm wide high quality leather, with a grain inside and a smooth outside dyed black. The belt is hand stitched in the correct pattern using the correct heavy-duty wax linen thread. It also features the correct size markings with the 5 cm intervals 95, 100, 105, etc. The belt features the correct metal hardware as the originals. Here is the same belt about 6 months later, after it's been used for a couple of events. The belt holds up really well and even survives Norwegian hardcore reenacting. A top-notch belt that could easily pass as an original in 10 years. This is a reproduction of the German late war straight closed back shovel cover made from pressed off material. Initially the covers were made from leather, but later in the war they were made from a synthetic material based on cellulose and resin called pressed off, or press material, although the straps and belt loops continue to be made by natural leather. The reproductions made by Vincent match the originals in every way, and there are really no flaws to be found. His covers are made from 91% replica pressed off, machine sewn in place in the correct pattern with the correct heavy duty wax linen thread. The straps and belt loops are made from high quality leather with the correct painted hardware, all hand sewn in place. He can also make lots of variants with mixed colored tan pressed off and different colored straps. The cover holds up really well and holds an original shovel nice and snug. This is a fantastic reproduction of the German World War II mid-war Y-straps. This excellent reproduction made by Vincent features every detail of the original. It's made from high quality leather and painted metal hardware, sewn together with the correct heavy duty wax linen thread in the correct pattern. It must be one of the best reproductions on the market by far. This is a reproduction of the German World War II K98 mounted bayonet frog. In January of 1939, an order was issued that stipulated that the bayonet frogs had to have an upper retaining strap in the cavalry style. The reproduction made by Vincent is a faithful reproduction in every way. It is made from high quality dyed leather stitched together with the correct heavy duty waxed linen thread in the correct pattern. It replicates the original in every detail, with the correct painted hardware and metal rivets. It also features a maker's mark, and an original bayonet fits nice and snug. These are reproductions of the German World War II leather carry straps for the MG Lavette. These straps are used to carry the MG Lavette and are made from high quality leather and hardware sewn together with the correct heavy duty wax linen thread in the correct pattern. Vincent has also added some nice maker mark stamps. These are faithful reproductions of the German World War II leather pads for the MG34 or 42 Lavette. 
They're made from high quality leather and come ready to be sewn on with the correct heavy duty wax linen thread. These are great for replacing worn out originals or Yugoslavian canvas pads. This is a reproduction of the German World War II belt loop, commonly known as a D-ring. Originals were constructed of a simple belt width loop with a D or rectangular shaped metal ring. They were made from black or brown leather or various colors of webbing. The reproduction made by Vincent replicates the original in every detail and features high quality dyed leather, a maker's mark and original painted steel hardware. A very useful piece of equipment. These are faithful reproductions of the German World War II Tornister Y-strap hooks. These Tornister hooks came together with the M39 Tornister pack, which was introduced in April of 1939 in conjunction with the support straps, more commonly known as Y-straps, which were required to carry the pack. The reproductions made by Vincent are excellent. They are made with high quality thick leather and painted steel hardware. They work very well with original Tornisters and Y-straps. This is the best reproduction German World War II early to mid-war gas mask can strap on the market. The originals came with different types of metal hardware and web straps with color shades ranging from green to almost a tan color. The reproductions made by Vincent features a correct high quality web strap with the early to mid-war reinforced leather ends and the correct painted hardware. It's all hand sewn, the stitching is of the correct pattern and the leather is stamped with a maker's mark. Everybody should get one of these. This is a reproduction of the German World War II two-piece canteen strap. These fantastic reproductions made by Vincent feature every detail of the original. It is made from high quality leather with original repainted hardware, sewn in place with the correct heavy duty wax linen thread. It also comes with an original late war backlight cap, riveted in place. When using an original canteen for reenacting, it is vital to replace the leather straps, or these will definitely break. These are faithful reproductions of the German World War II so-called Tornister strap. The reproduction features high quality leather and painted steel hardware, all sewn together with heavy duty wax linen thread in the correct pattern as the original. These are very useful and come in both black and brown leather. This is a reproduction of the German World War II mess kit strap. Another great reproduction made by Vincent, featuring high quality leather, repainted hardware, correct thread and stitching. Vincent makes a lot more than shown in this video, so please check out his webpage or Facebook page listed in the video description. I can highly recommend his service, and his reproductions are widely used by members of my reenacting group, Von Champona Living History Group. Get the highest quality leather field gear at the best price at Vincent's Equipment.